Good morning, everybody. So crazy times we're living in, right? Lots of information out there. Some of it might seem a little scary. Some of it might ring true. You know what I always say? There's a little bit of lie in every truth, <laughs> you know, and there's a little bit of truth in every lie. This is the world we live in. And so, you know, what are you going to do? We have to really go within and discern. Okay, so today I'm reading on Redemption Centers. There's a lot of information out there uh, about Redemption Centers. And, you know, people are questioning it. And I think that's good. I think we really need to question everything, you guys. Question everything. Question, question, question. Really listen to your gut. Um, as you're listening to things, as you're listening to information, as you're listening to this right now, what I'm going to tell you I see in the cards I want you guys to use your discernment. You know, this is what I'm getting, but I want you guys to really feel, start practicing, really feeling, you know, every single thing you hear, feel what is truly ringing true to you and what's sending off bells and whistles that are making you go, oh, that doesn't feel right. Or there's something about that that feels wrong or that's triggering me to feel sick. Why is that? And then go deeper. Why is that triggering me to feel sick? You know, ask the questions, reach out to your highest version of self, to your God source, to source energy, universal energy, you know, your spiritual team that's here helping you make sure when you're calling on these things that you say only that which loves me and has my highest and greatest good for intentions only and always is welcome here. Be careful what you channel. Stand in your power, you guys. Stand in your power and decree it that you only want truth and you only want love and nothing else is welcome. I, it's a really crazy time and I've been saying this for a while now. It's a very culty time and there's a lot of crazy talk out there. I've listened to a lot of the crazy talk myself and I listen and I go, oh, that piece rang true. But this piece is BS if I ever heard it. You know, and just, and then I go, why do I think this is BS? Is this my ego or is this truly my intuition? And I, and I go deeper, right? So start practicing doing that, you guys. So it's a time that we really have to be discerning. So, and we've been, t we've been told that in the cards, be careful who you listen to. Be very discerning. Use your intuition. Use your clear knowing, your clear seeing. Have eyes to see. Have ears to hear. Right? We've been told that. Tap in. I'm here telling you guys every day to stand in your power. Only that which loves you and has your highest and greatest good for intentions only and always. Only the truth. Decree it. Stand in your power. Okay? So the first thing I needed to know about the redemption centers, the you know, you, you guys know how I work. The very first thing I needed to know is, is there any truth to what we're hearing about what they're calling, what truthers are calling redemption centers? Is there any truth to that? And I got that there is. There is truth to that. Right there at the top, we got the Ace of Swords. So there is truth to that. The card representing the question is temperance. That's a higher arcana card and she's a good card, right? So she alchemizes things. So yes, there is truth to these re redemption centers. There's something about them that helps to alchemize something, okay? So across from that, it looks like it's a noble thing. These redemption centers are noble. There's something very noble about it and it has to do with our finances. So Okay, and then what's driving the reading is uh, technology that can be shared that will create balance in this world. So the redemption centers, there's truth in what they are in, in that they exist. And this is what I am getting about a redemption center. Okay, so then I got more of a story about the redemption center as well. Okay, so I came over here. We need, we need a little information because this looks like it has something to do with our finances, right? 
So these redemption centers that are alchemizing things that, yes, do truly exist, that are creating a sharing done nobly, right, that, yes, it's helping to create balance in our financial sector. You know, there's technology involved here at these um, redemption centers that that are going to create a sharing and a balancing of the scales, right? So that's a balance. And so balancing. Remember this because we got two more, two more balancing cards <clears throat> in this reading. So more of a story around this because this looks like it's a financial thing, which is we've been kind of hearing that, right? So the more story around this is that Moving forward, a way of life is ending, okay? So there was no life in this journey. We're talking about our finances, right? And these redemption centers. So moving forward, a way of life is ending. Across from that, it's a very happy ending. We've got two ending cards, okay? So this is actually a happy ending. We come up here, more finances, right? And the scales of balance. These guys are poverty stricken and these scales are being balanced. So more of a story around these redemption centers having something to do with finances and wealth. Now, as we look at what's driving the reading, we have a death and a rebirth card. So a death of systems where justice comes in, okay? So the death, again, so now we've got three complete endings, all right? So these, these um, redemption centers that we've been hearing about are creating some balance. There's some nobility to these things. They do actually exist. And what's happening at these redemption centers is that they're, they're recreating systems. Moving forward, these systems are ending, a way of life is ending. Justice is coming in to create balance. There's a death of the systems and justice is taking care of it. So this felt to me like this is a possible holding place, right? And I, I said, okay, so this, is, this would be like where people are working and maybe redoing um, these financial institutional systems where this might be a place where people are working. Um, it might be a place where actual funding is being held. There's a lot of the finances coming up, financial balance, finances, you know, nobility, finances, tangible finances. Okay. This is our tangible card, you guys. So, this isn't stuff that's in the ethers. This isn't just technology. This is stuff that you can hold on to. So I was actually wondering if like some of these redemption centers that we've been hearing about, especially the way these cards are kind of all laid out in conjunction with these cards, if this is like a holding place for a uh, possible, you know, gold finances, you know, whatever. So is this a holding place? And I got... Yeah, and that's the holding on card, you guys. That's the holding on. And then, you know, holding on faithfully. Yes, it's like a holding place. And so I just needed another clarifying card because that's how I am sometimes. Um, and I don't think you can ever just, I, you know, when you're doing this type of work, you want complete clarity and you don't want your ego getting in the way, right? So you want to ask, you know, ask again, right? So is this more about finances? And I got the star. So yes, these, these, um, that's my higher arcana card, the star. That's where miracles happen. As Kevin says, that's 17, you know? So yes, this is, this is, um, these redemption centers are, are really about finances. They are. They are about bringing justice in, ending systems, creating balance. We have the two balancing cards here, right? So three in all. Balance is being created here. Balance, the scales of justice, brings in balance. 
And again, with this lower arcana card, you know, balancing these scales, because these guys have been without for a long time. So things have to be balanced. Okay. So that's kind of the story that I got around, around the, the redemption center. So I obviously couldn't go any further with those cards because I felt like I had used enough of them, honestly. So then I hauled out my other deck and I said, all right, so what I'm, what I'm looking for in this question is, is some of the information that, that the truthers are, are reporting on the back channels and some of the information that we're hearing is some of it just outright lies. I needed to know that, right? I got a story. I got a story around what my guides were telling me about these redemption centers, but then we've heard so much. I needed to know if some of this was just not true. So I got, yeah, a lot of it's not true. You guys, it's cre it, a lot of the information out there is to create chaos so that people fear what is actually the truth about what's happening. So a lot of the information that you're hearing right now about these um, redemption centers is meant to create a lot of chaos, worry, fighting, infighting, uh, just crap, just outright crap, low vibrations, so that people are in fear of what's really happening, which is what's really blooming, as things are coming to end. So this is a great time to scare the shit out of people as things are starting to end and heat up, right? And so that's what a lot of this information is out there doing right now. This information is put out there by the bad guys, you guys. So I know that you guys are going to say, but wait a minute, that's the emperor and that's your great healer. Not in this deck. Every deck has a different energy, right? So in this deck, the emperor to me is no better than the hierophant over here, right? He's a leader, you know, who could do good things, but he does not care who he hurts and who he stomps on. So this information that's out there to scare people is put out there by the bad guys. They want you to feel very alone and very fearful. This is not a fun journey out there all in your ego, all by yourself, just letting your ego soar. See how this balloon is inflated, inflated only through this guy's crown. And so it's, it's being inflated only through his ego. He's not tapped in. See how it's sealed off up here. He's not tapped in. He's not getting higher information. He's in ego. He's in fear. It's causing him to take off in flight by himself. This is not a good journey, right? So the information is created to create, is put out there to create chaos by the bad guys so that you guys feel terrible about things, scared and alone as things are ending. All right. So what's driving the reading is don't be foolish. You know, don't be foolish. Don't listen to things that are not serving you. Use your discernment. Don't let it get you down. You've got to look. You've got to really look and see what's there blooming. Okay. Again, don't get caught up in the chaos. Use your clear sight and your clear knowing to see what's back here blooming. It even says that up here. So we got the page of swords, you guys. So this is a time where we have to be extremely discerning, you guys. So see how his sword is straight up? His sword is straight up. He's got clear knowing. See how he's got even a little bit of extra help here with his seeing. So he's got clear seeing. So this guy can see clearly and know clearly. He's passionate and he's confident and he's moving forward clearly knowing and clearly seeing. He's not allowing things like chaos, rumors, lies, scary stories, th you know, the endings of things that aren't worthy. All of this, he's not allowing that to bother him. So the advice is, as we look at this reading here, you know, don't be foolish. Don't get caught up in things that make you feel terrible. Look to see the positives. Really do your due diligence to find what's good that's going on. Use your clear seeing and your clear knowing. It's really important. Just like what I was saying in the beginning, use your intuition. Tap in and go further. You know, question everything, even yourself, okay? So that's just, this is what I'm getting, all right? 
So then I wanted a story around the heart scans. Okay. So, you know, you're going to go to this redemption center supposedly, and you're going to get your heart scanned. You know, this is the story that's going out. And, um, you know, if you're not worthy, you're going to go to the lake of fire. Okay. So that's, what does that sound like? You guys, what does that sound like? That sounds like fear porn to me. Right. And let me tell you why that doesn't ring true because we live in a fallen world and every single person here on this planet has been traumatized in one way or another. And especially over the last few years here, we've been here in this truth of community. We've been fighting against uh, medical mandates saying, no, we don't want to wear a mask. No, we're not going to take a vaccine. And now we're being told that we have to go somewhere by ourselves and undergo a forced medical procedure with people we don't know. So I needed to know, you know, what is the deal with these heart scans? Well, this is pretty interesting. So I got that this is technology and tools created by the devil. Okay. Technology tools created by the devil. So this is not good stuff, right? So above that, we got justice coming in and above the devil, we got the thief under the table. Well, this looks very much to me like if this is tools that were created by the devil and then we've got justice at the top coming in to go after the thief under the table. This started to feel like, and especially with what we've got driving the reading, the battle between good and evil, right? Creating balance again. This is a two. This is creating the balance again. This is things coming up, rising up from the surface with this page of cups and enlightenment. So this is technology that wasn't created by good guys. Um, it's probably been out there. God only knows what they were using it for, honestly. But it's not great technology. And so I wondered, okay, if this is technology that was in the hands of the bad guys, but at the top we've got justice, enlightenment, and finding that thief under the table. Is this something that they're using in tribunals? Is this some sort of... Um, some sort of equipment that is being used in these tribunals. And the reason why I ask that is because I go deeper, right? So I was thinking to myself, this is very interesting. And I know that as they arrest people for crimes against humanity, there are people that didn't know what the heck they were doing. And they truly believed in the medical system. And they've truly believed, you know, what they were told. And their hearts were not in the wrong place. They were actually, they thought they were going to be doing something good for people. Truly believed it in the beginning. Some people were bought and paid for and knew what this agenda was all about, right? So I'm like, hmm, could this possibly be a technology that is being used in a tribunal type situation, in trials? And over here, I got the Hierophant. And in this deck, <laughs> unlike over here in this deck, right? In this deck where I get the Hierophant as a bad guy. In this deck, I get the Hierophant as a highly faithful, um, good guy, right? This is somebody who's highly connected to Source and really dedicates his life to Source and uh, doing good things. And so that would be a yes for me. So, yes, some of this equipment, this strange equipment that they've gotten a hold of, some of it will actually be used um, in the crossing over to see who needs to be crossed over and, and who is good. This is what I'm getting anyways, you guys. This is kind of crazy, but it's just what I'm getting, you know. So there is technology, but I'm getting that, um, I'm getting that it's being used in tribunals um, because I'm going to tell you the reason why my head went there is because if it was God judging us, God doesn't need to judge us. God doesn't need to. <laughs> and there are a lot of people that have been involved in the stuff that's been going on over the last couple of years. You have nurses and doctors and 
you know, how about the guy at the pharmacy? And, and they were none the wiser. They truly believed what, what was being done was good. And then you do have people that, that knew it was bad and they didn't say anything about it or they had a feeling that it was bad and they didn't step away from it. And then you have people that knew it was bad, that knew they knew that forcing these things on people and mandates and they knew that as they were they were pulling out these these um, vials that they were supposed to be injecting into people that didn't have any information on it, that this was not a good thing. They didn't step away from it because they were involved in it. So we have a lot of stuff going on, you guys. During this time, it's a crazy time. And so that's why my mind went there because God doesn't, God knows. Source knows. Source is in us, connected to us at all times funneling through us, radiating out of us, is part of our DNA. It's part of who we are. I mean, we are, we have source in us. We are source. We are source energy. We've just been really far removed from it. So after I got that, that, you know, yeah, it's, it's technology that's being used to decipher who's going to be crossed over and who and who isn't. Because, you know, this is a crossing over card. You know, the moon ends things, and this is my king of wands, and this is a good guy. This is a good guy. So it's it's technology that was created by bad guys, but it is being used right now to bring in some justice, enlightenment, figuring out who the bad guys are. Um, yes, yes, figuring out who the bad guys are, who needs to be crossed over, and who is good. Right. So I said, all right. And I, I said, this must have something to do with exactly what I just told you guys, that that some of these people have been innocently involved and didn't know any better. And I got right here very clearly, you know, some people just believed what they were told. They thought they were mending things. They can be they can be um, rehabilitated with this star. Miracles can happen there. So that's what I've gotten so far, and I still have a lot more questions that I've got to do. So I'm going to pick all of these cards up, and I'm actually going to immediately, because I'm going to immediately do another reading, you guys, because there's still, there's a, this is a very complicated subject. And um, so this is what I've gotten so far. As this is uploading, you know, I'm going to be doing another reading. I'm going further and I have more questions. I need to know more things. I could only touch on just a little bit, right? Um, so I don't know, you guys. This is what I'm getting. This is just what I'm getting, okay? So, you know, use your own discernment. I'm begging you guys. This is a time to be very discerning, We've got to be discerning. <laughs> I mean, we're being told we've got to be discerning. You know, we have to be really discerning. There is stuff out there to create chaos, to do damage, you know, created by bad guys. So we've got to use our clear knowing. We can't be foolish. So question everything. Go within. Feel your way through it. Tap into your highest, you know, your highest guidance source, your highest version of self. Question these things. Feel your way through it. When you get an answer, question that. See if that's coming from ego or if that's coming, you know, through true intuition. Question, question, question. It's time for us to question ourselves and everything that we hear. It's it's crazy time, you guys. So, and, and, uh. I know that you guys can do this. I know that you guys have the ability to tap in. I know all of you do, every single one of you, because every single one of us on this planet have that ability. And you guys are already so spiritual, right? Or you wouldn't be following me. You wouldn't be listening to a tarot card reader who says to you, the healing intentions are set, so breathe them in. You wouldn't be listening to me. You know, you'd be changing the channel. So I know that you guys already, you're already there. So just, I'm just reminding you of how powerful you are and how you can really use your own discernment so that you don't fall into this trap of being afraid, right? Okay, you guys. So like I said, all of the healing intentions are set. You stand in your power and you decree it if you want it 
for only your highest and greatest good, only and always. I'm going to come back with a part two of this, um, but this is the beginning of these questions. All right, you guys, many, many blessings, much, much love from me to all of you. Do expect this to go up today, okay? So I'm going to do this. Get I'm, I'm ending here. I'm going to get this uploaded. I'm going straight into the second set of questions. I feel like these things are very important. If there was ever a time that I feel like it's it's really important that I that I read the cards for somebody's question, uh, this would be it. This would probably be one of the more important questions I think I've ever been asked to do. Okay, you guys, much love, much, 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 much love, lots of discernment, okay, and many, many blessings. I'll be back. All right.